Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Before I say anything more, I don't need a character to look like me to identify with them. Let's have some fun. Which one of these characters do you think they, them, would have a problem with? Seriously, answer and tell me why you think so. Comment or correct me below, but I believe Cammy for these types, is the only one they hypocritically have an issue with. Shocked, sarcasm, of course, that they them would refuse to accept an attractive woman character, I reacted online to these terrible takes. It perplexed me that even when they them are represented, even when it's entirely optional that they have to either invest the time to earn the currency to unlock or buy currency to outright pay for this alternate outfit, that this is still, quote, problematic. Look at these dudes. Are you not seen? Is this not enough? I guess not, but I fear it'll never be enough. For these types, it's not enough that they get what they want, they need others to not have what they want? Like a baby. <laughs> and how apt a comparison, because many of these types with their diaper fetishes want to identify as children, not because they're actually that insane, but it's because they want to meet kids. Yikes, right? TV shows and movies weren't enough for these clowns to ruin, so now they're after gaming and anime as well, by doing the only thing that they know how to do, forcing their way in and attempting change. Quite literally, the trans-activist goblin wants the thing you like to be less like the thing you like, and then it will be better. You remember when Call of Duty said they didn't want to punish the shooter and the shooter, and dead silence was actually really loud, and I said up might as well be down, black is white for these trans Call of Duty developers. Developers. In this scenario, it's no different. To a trans activist, a shower must be better without water, and you can smell it on them. To a trans activist, the Fast and the Furious would be better without cars. And hell, they don't need them, they can just find a hill and roll wherever the hell they need to go. To trans activist, Jurassic Park would be better without all those pesky dinosaurs. No need, man. Put a glass on a table. Fill it with some water and the ripples will telegraph those footsteps from a mile away. Meanwhile, in reality, the data this outfit has provided Capcom paints as crystal clear a picture of what consumers want as the Chun-Li outfit sales in Fortnite. In fact, Fortnite makes money like Genshin Impact makes money. Why do you think that is? Maybe because even when they them tries to demonize attractive women, the anime embracing Fortnite recognizes what people want. They them hate the idea of what's known as fan service because unlike a business that leans into what consumers want, woke activists harbor savage hatred for whomever does not embrace their ideology without question. They're, amusingly, worse than everything they claim to denounce. Japan simply gives people what they want. Options. Actual diversity. Developed characters in interesting stories. Not limited or restricted or, oh, we gotta make this more PG. You know? They offer style. Showcases of style and beauty that are the result of passionate work from people breaking their backs to impress, appeal, entertain, and provide an escape. Variety is the spice of life. America's the type to want thousands of channels. But if you touch that dial, you're a bigot? They, them demands you only watch this one channel. Sister? Brother? Or ugly other, we thought they should have canceled your show before it even aired. Funny how that keeps happening. What a seamless segue into manga this is, you know, indirectly. For the uninitiated, manga is the graphic novel iteration of a story that, if successful enough, is then adapted into an anime. Think comic book to cartoon show, or in this case, book to TV show. Manga is currently 
dominating the hilariously woke comic book industry, which has found its way so deep into a grave that it's failing to literal YouTubers mad respect. In the West, they them can never be satisfied. People of color, not enough. Women of color, not enough. Disabled people, not enough. I often joke that making anything for anyone to watch or listen to is ableist and hateful to blind and deaf people, respectively. So, I'm going to start calling attention to things. Trans friends have made me well aware of the people in the community that hate when fellow trans people pass. Certainly that should be all of the, the goal that you, most of you, you know, they're probably not going to be able to achieve, but, you know. How petty is this? How envious this hatred says more than I really need to. You don't like it when other people pass. And I'm noticing you don't depict those people either. People where you'd need to tell them. You know? It's, it's pretty obvious that you're trans. You don't need to tell us. These vocal activists that are so eager to demand that we recognize their identity. You and I are not the types to care how most strangers in real life, let alone online, view us. But their gender identity is so important to them that it's got to be that important to us comedically. Ugh, we don't need to be told. All right? It's, it's, it's evident, right? You know, not, not just by the protruding package of gentlemen or, or ladies, you know, with, with erect thangs poking through their, their outfit as they're recording women in the bathroom. My God, my God. This, it's similar to how game developers will hire pretty women to then deliberately ugly them up. Or, you know, we can pretend it's a skill issue and Americans are just so far behind the Eastern developers that making people is suddenly too hard because we were doing it like a decade ago. Lara Croft effortlessly made us explode and saw Angelina Jolie take up the helm of a character that the current woke developers need to ruin. But even Fortnite was smart enough to put her in her classic fan-pleasing outfit. This sells, even if she lacks her curves. But we know Fortnite hate big girls and out here censoring lady meat specifically. If sex sells, ugly repels. I listen to Japanese, Indian, and Spanish creators on YouTube, and if I may eloquently summarize the hostile sentiment shared towards the selfish and property-damaging trans activist losers, I could do it in two words. Simply, bitch, please. Of course we ain't buying what you're selling. Of course we won't consume this. It's garbage made by garbage men. Men. However you identify garbage coon, if these psychopaths desperate to rewrite anime to push their ideology and prioritize gender identity indoctrination instead of writing a quality story with likable characters than to quote the jokers, you get what you fucking deserve? And it's not about the money, it's about sending a message. We've received your messages loud and clear. I hope that you know it's not just America, but the world that's willing to turn the lazy slop that you brain-damaged fuckwits pedal into the new Bud Light. You'd have gotten away with this if you weren't so damn lazy. Way to fulfill the boomer's prophecy. AI isn't coming for your jobs. It already has them. As it deserves it with you just pff, what a spectacular failure indeed but you're so damn woke and you're so damn lazy that we can ask ai for a woman and it'll provide that as opposed to a man with a dick and balls listen viewers subscribe share jiggly people join the discord and remember <laughs> these people can't help being willfully ignorant our eyes function we're honest we're not sticking a finger in people's faces in the, on the street. But if we were making content, we can identify what's wrong or what could be made better and agree on how to change it to make it more appealing. But a trans person, a trans activist, but a trans propaganda activist, they see nothing wrong. And if you disagree, something is wrong with you because in their genjutsu, it's completely normal. 
Pack your fucking bags, your woke babies. What everyone wants what, is anyone, anything but you. You will be replaced by people with less power than you until you ultimately have no voice and no power and you'll have deserved it because you didn't need power before it corrupted you. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. You're, you're just a mess already. Hopefully next time you'll have learned the best way to implement change isn't to dye your hair, demand people call you a woman, ugly up women, and then shriek about mortality fucking rights. You know what I mean? I'm out here getting demonetized because I got to talk to you frankly. You're threatened by the existence of an attractive woman. It's, it was over from the start, nigga. These statistics are the niggas false. Sad. Blithering. You're a waste. <laughs> and you out here trying to make people as miserable as you beta testers. Thank you for listening. I love you. Seems like a patch is finally pushing its way through. Links in the description. Less division. Love. Accept. Don't don't squawk about acceptance and inclusion and then not. You know what I mean? You're going in the opposite direction. You're a fucking villain, dude. You know? These things I've come to love were tastes of another world. A completely different, unique, and alien perspective as far as I was concerned. A horizon broadened that some people travel the world and can't achieve. I tolerate and respect people's right to their opinions. I cannot and will not respect people trying to inject their cancer for selfish and destructive reasons. Bye.